Here's the live Doppler Storm Team, Chief Meteorologist Keith Morton. Just a nasty day out there, cold and cloudy, windy, wind chills around 29 to 30 throughout the day. We had some drizzle earlier, and we could see a few light showers come in this evening and some more rain overnight tonight. As we look at live Doppler 10 storm tracker radar, some very light rain moving offshore into Cameron Parish and parts of Vermilion Parish. Some of this stretching as far north as Erath and Abbeville, and the more showers also back into Texas. Look at temperatures. Everyone above freezing now across the Cadiana, 39 Lafayette, 33 in San Antonio, Dallas at 35. And it could be a lot worse. Two in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Des Moines, Iowa at three degrees. So uh, temperatures here not looking as bad compared to there, but still, this is well below normal for this time of year. Opelousas at 37. And you have area at 39. We have that disturbance coming across western Texas. This has been causing freezing rain, sleet, and snow across the hill country of Texas. So that disturbance comes in overnight. Tonight it's going to tap a little moisture, uh, Gulf moisture, but not enough to cause any heavy precip. But still, uh, we could see some light rain, maybe some light freezing rain after midnight. Here's future track. As we can see, it has temperatures there at midnight still above freezing across most areas. 32 in Ville Platte, that is freezing. 35 Lafayette, New Iberia, 36. And then as we take it through the overnight hours, most of that precipitation staying south of I-10. It does show some sleet, maybe some freezing rain where temperatures are at 32 or below at 2.30 in the morning. But look what happens once Lafayette goes to 32. Most of the precipitation is out of here. But it doesn't take a whole lot, especially on bridges and overpasses. Even drizzle can cause problems. But since yesterday, we were in the mid-70s, and we've been above freezing all day today. I really don't expect any issues. Uh, if we do see it, it's not going to last very long. Temperatures should go back above freezing uh, by 10 o'clock. There's uh, Lafayette at 33, New Iberia at 33, Ville Platte up to 34, and maybe some sun tomorrow afternoon. We briefly get up to 40, which is a good 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. And then Friday night into early Saturday morning, temperatures down in the mid-upper 20s. Here's the GFS model looking at a different model here. You can see it does bring in some of that light mixed precipitation. But like I said, it's going to be very light. Most of it south by 10. I really don't see any issues across St. Landry Parish or Evangeline Parish unless that shield of precip moves farther north. Even if it does, we're not going to see a whole lot of it by tomorrow afternoon. All of that is out of here. I think the bigger concern is going to be that wind chill tomorrow morning. Those winds will be out of the northeast at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then through the day tomorrow, north winds at 10 to 20. And we're talking about a wind chill tomorrow night back down in the lower to mid 20s. So definitely bundle up over the next couple of days and the next couple of nights. Saturday afternoon, we're back up to 50 with some sunshine, but still a north wind at about 10 to 15. Here's the wind chill early tomorrow morning. We're going to see that in the lower 20s. 21 off Lucis Lafayette at 23. So bundle up. And then as we go through the day, wind chills hanging around 29 to 30 degrees, even during the warmest part of the day. And then going through early Saturday morning, the wind chill back down about 19 to 20 degrees. We have some cold weather for the next couple of days and night. Showers possible, cold and windy tonight, that 30% chance of precip. Could see some light freezing rain or sleep mixed in, not expecting any snow. 41 cloudy, breezy, cold tomorrow, 41 for a high. There are the next seven days. The sun will make it feel better on Saturday, 51, 56 on Sunday. And that's going to feel like spring. 57 on Monday, rain comes back in late in the day, most of that overnight. Monday night, and yeah, we'll see a brief form up to 60 before we're back down in the 40s and 50s Wednesday and Thursday.